to my channel video game. Um, it's been a while since I put out a video. It's been beginning of last summer, actually. Yeah, the beginning of last summer. And I just want to say to you, 16 subscribers, thank you for sticking around. This isn't the end. And we're just taking a break, you guys. And I've actually got a combination lock here. I'm gonna show you. It's a pretty simple one. And I think you're all gonna like it, you know. And I, I'm gonna start putting videos out again, but I'm gonna for those of you guys who clicked on the video and wanna see me um, do the combination lock, I'm gonna do that at the end of the video if you're one of the 60 subscribers or um, if you just like to hear this stuff at the end of the video, I'm gonna explain how I think out the different ways of thinking about taking the channel and I'm gonna have you guys um, post stuff in the comments below and yeah we, we're gonna go from there and so yeah so uh, welcome back for you guys if you thought uh, you know if you're one of those people you're one of the subscribers you're gonna unsubscribe because you haven't seen anything you thought my channel was just dead don't unsubscribe yet guys and definitely if you're new person that is watching this video now please do subscribe because there's gonna be new content coming out regularly now and I'm gonna start doing this again yeah, at least one a week all right at least one a week I'm gonna try to do even more than that like I said I'm gonna explain to you more about that at the end of the, end, at the, end of the video and yeah if you don't even care like I'm gonna do the tutorial and I'll, I'll tell you when I'm gonna talk about it and you guys can leave if you're just here for the video. Um, yeah, so let's get started on this for you guys. And so we got a combination lock here. What we're gonna do it's a five, and it's gonna actually be expanded beyond what I'm here. So um, and this is a pretty simple five, and you know you see a lot of these combination locks on the the you know the YouTube. I was searching them up. And they're just complicated. Um, it's like a five-step tutorial. It's ridiculous. And like a lot of this, like if you hit the buttons really fast, you know, this and stuff, you know, it makes the it makes it go. You know, it make, it makes the thing go like it. You can just um, hack it like that. But you know, this is I, I've got that hack proof here for you guys. So. Um, for my combination here I chose, and obviously you can customize a real like I did this one here, this one here, and it's not, I mean, I wouldn't go mashing the buttons like really really fast, but as long as you're just going to speed I'm going, you're going to be fine like, just go like this. A good keynote you know, is like wait for the button to come back out, and then press next button and you'll be great, you'll be good that way. And let's see there, that's a combination in if I press the wrong button, if I do that, and then I do this and all this stuff here, and I'm just not gonna work. So um yeah. So I'm gonna wait for it to come back around. Okay, so this is pretty much what we got here. I don't know, I mean, depending on your skill of redstone, this might look complicated to you, but rest assured it's not, and if it is, I will walk through everything here. And just note that if there's anything that I do that you don't understand or you, you would like um, clarification on, I will um, go ahead and either message you in the comments or do a video on it, depending on um, you know, how big or how big, the, you know, the question or the component that you want explained or I will explain it like in the next video like before I do the tutorial I'll explain to any of you guys so um yes yeah, so, so that's it so what you're gonna need is a basically space here it's gonna be 26 by 17 yeah 26 by 17 here and you're gonna need a 10 space you need 10 up here so 
if you're like think of this here as ground level yeah so think of this as grass we're gonna put see, all this stuff down below here if you're doing digging the basement yeah so I'm just doing it like this here and so you can see all the components to make it easier but you know you're most likely gonna be digging a hole so if you do that you know you guys this is a positive video now um, do the 26 by 17 and um, make sure it's 10 in depth 10 blocks in depth all right guys now that we're done with that we're gonna do this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with get in the middle so we said it's 17 so we're gonna See what we got here, and so basically from here you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so we're gonna count eight this way. So let's see here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. All right. And. We're just gonna bring this Dion around here. Oh, oops. And just like this here. And then I, you know, you can design, you can decorate this any way you guys like. I'm just gonna, just to make it easier for you guys to follow, I'm just gonna put red where the buttons are gonna be. And I'm just, you know, for my output, like yeah, obviously it's gonna be like probably like a door or something. And you know, I don't know, whatever your output's gonna be, but the output, this is gonna be the light here. And when we get to that spot, I will tell you the output, and you can obviously run that wherever. So, and so let's see, there should be five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna make this go one more. So, yeah. All right. So you know, if I, and then obviously, like, oh, and like I said before, this can be expanded on. And you'll see how it like when this is all finished. I'll show you a little bit. Yeah, so basically, there you go. This is four. Think of this as a wall and everything else here. Um. So, you know, from here, what we're going to do, torches, oops, and then from here, this is about here, redstone, oops, redstone here, and torches, alright, and for these here, the opposite ones doesn't matter, you could have this sign, this, and this sign, this here, or do it the way I did here. And so, whichever ones that you didn't get, just down below the torches. The ones that you didn't get from up above here, if that makes sense. Uh, and so they got all five outputs. Yes. And now we're gonna start the building part. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is well, here. Let me see how much space I leave between. Here, so let's see. One, two, three. Okay, so the four. Okay, so we're gonna count from here. You go to one, two, three, four. And you can take this box away. And then you're just gonna go all the way down here. Just kind of like, oh, let's make a little platform for you to build off. Right in the middle here, where you have this torch come right ahead and put a block right here and then put a block right here every th I'm sorry every three yeah, yeah every three so, all right so this here and count three and then another one here and another one here oops and then um, yeah and so 
can do is we're gonna take this. Bring this out. Yeah, like this. So make sure you have three there. And we're just gonna make this three in width. Bring it all the way over here. And this over here. I'm just gonna flow some. Let's start to start putting some wings. And you're gonna need all but the active air rail for this, so detector rails and regular rails as long as this you know with the power goes here. Yeah. It's just gonna put oh you know, sorry, you should probably explain so you got the five pumps here, and right in front of the five pumps is gonna stick a powered rail. And you should see so you got five power rails. And then what we're gonna do is gonna go like this. Regular rails. And you know, I actually need one more here. Otherwise, it's not gonna make it. Yeah. Okay. So, I bring this down here, and then and then fill in the rest of these gaps here with detector rails. So I got that out. Okay. Detector rails. Yeah. And then put the detector rail right here. And what we're gonna do is put a torch here, and then put part row here, part row here, part row here, and fill that in. Do the same on the other side. So symmetrical. Like that. What we're gonna do is fill the rest in here with regular rail, right in the middle here. Take that out where the hump is in the middle. You're gonna want to put the powered rail where you have the regular rail here. Just like that. Just like that. So the next spot, and so this is where, you know, actually I'm gonna. So I'm just gonna leave that there so you guys can look at it, double check your work, and yeah. So the next part we're gonna get started on is basically choosing uh, which buttons what, like what your combination is basically and I will walk you through that now all right so next what we're gonna do is basically we're going this is where you're going to choose the combination and I just put this here and so Basically, this is, you know, think of this as button number one, button number two, button number three, button number four, and button number five. And, yeah. So, if that helps you, you don't have to do that, obviously. It's just a way to label it to make it easier to decipher. Otherwise, you can just leave that, um, you don't have to put that in. I just made the wall flush here, so. It makes it look better. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna choose the combination. And so basically, what we're gonna start with is two out on each of these. It's done. Redstone torch, torch, torch. Just like that, so two out and redstone torch. Alright, so now we're gonna connect the, bu the buttons up now. So basically, I'm just gonna stick with the same combination. Um, so, this is so I did four for the first one. So I'm gonna just do that, so this one here. And so basically, whichever button you want first. You connect up to this rail here. So I'm gonna connect this button up here. This is the first button I want in my combination. So I'm just gonna connect that up right now. Alright. Just like this. 
my second button I use in my combination was number 5. And so I'm going to connect 5 up with the second rail here. Here, whatever button, whatever button is your second, connect up with the second rail here. So that's for me right there. For my third button, that's button number 2 in the wall here. Now connect that up to the third rail, whatever your third combination button is. Connect that up to the third rail. So for me, it's just me like this. Um, for oh, I'm sorry, that's for the last one. Okay, I screwed that up. I'm just going to actually. See. I'm going to take this down here and just use this torch that comes straight off here and do that. So I'm just going to and. Basically, I just did that there so you could see that I separated the buttons out. But basically, you can just kind of be nifty and use different combinations here to um, connect your buttons up, depending on how, what buttons you want connected up to each. Like it a little bit come uh, confused. So um, for me, it's just easier to do that than having to come all the way down here. And so I just took that out. Same thing. I just taken the torch off and powered this block instead of one up here. So for the second or for the fourth button, my combination will be number one. And so this one here, just to make this easier for me, I'm just going to bring the torch over here instead. And power it to this one here. And for this one here, so basically the third button here on the wall will be my fifth button by combination. So I've got up to the fifth row. And basically that's really straightforward. So if you want to change the combination at all, um, anytime it's really pretty simple just a little bit of um, you have to change a couple of wires but everything else will stay the same so that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to connect this up here and kind of be creative and so I'm just going to check to make sure I don't have a repeater issues or anything so basically I'm just going to replace actually I don't need that just press the button here that um, is your first button in the combination and make sure it powers I'm sorry this is the first one here make sure it powers the first rail the second button in the combination make sure it powers the second rail the third button in the combination make sure it powers the third rail the fourth button in the combination make sure it powers the fourth rail and the fifth button, the combination mixture power is the fifth row. Alright, so I got that here. Um, the next thing we're going to do is start putting some logic in to make this work. And so, yeah, we'll get into that now. Alright guys, so the next so next part here, we're going to start putting some logic in. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're gonna, every single um, detector rail we have here bring it down and the other thing I should mention is if there's anything that you are confused on doesn't make sense please leave a comment in the YouTube I do check those daily all the time guys even the old videos I've been checking all over the place so his I saw anything so I've seen that actually a few of you have post comments and stuff and either I've responded to you or I've taken if you did post the idea, take an idea into consideration for a future video. So I definitely, if it, it's worth the time to do that, because I until my channel, you know, grows a little bit more, it's, I need all the ideas and stuff I can get. So yeah, so basically, once you have that, bring every single torch. I'm gonna bring it down. It's gonna be like a pattern here. And yeah, definitely hit that sub button if you find this helpful. And if you have, think there's anything here I can improve in the videos, please let me know. Alright, so what I'm going to do is bring that like that. This. And then you can put redstone here. I do that for every single one here.
Oh, okay, so yeah, so the next thing we're gonna do is once you have all that, we're gonna just put a block on the front of each here, each redstone. Okay, so you can just do that, I guess, and punch up the ones that you don't need. Okay, and then in front of all these, we're gonna put a Peter's all the way down the road here. That's real easy. Okay, next thing is just do that and then come all the way down here and every three punch out so one two three punch one two three punch three punch okay now let's start on top of this and torches in the middle and that will back up so you guys can see pause the video if it didn't make sense or back it up all right next thing we're gonna do is just going to take the lead off this and bring it all the way down here. And so, oh, just one more. And so it comes up with all these torches here. Make sure the torches are connected then before each torch here. Just going to stick up Peter here to make sure there's no repeater issues or signals getting to the end of the line here. Um, next part is we're actually going to put a delay circuit and if you guys didn't know what a delay circuit is, it's basically you put a pulse in it's basically going to take that however many ticks you have and I'm not going to show you, I'm going to build this and explain it it's not going to make sense for you to explain it so. basically it just makes the signal strong for as long as you want and then it dies off and so it's nice. Oh, we're gonna make sure we want nine here, so we're gonna put um, a block here and a block here facing each other like this, and then put this here pretty much just latches it. Um, and let's make sure we have nine repeaters here on four ticks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so. And put right here. So basically, what it's going to do is it's going to take the signal here, and it's going to make the the power stay on for the nine ticks. And basically, this is pretty common. Like if you look at my um, previous tutorials, I've done, I've, pre I've used this before. And so it just taking the signal. It's customizable. Pretty much, you can take as however many repeaters here. It's going to make that um, signal be strong for as long as the you have however long. The ticks are here on the computers and keep it strong until it gets to the end here. That's so basically I'm just going to show you here. This demonstration. So basically, see how it's keeping that slit until it gets to the end there and it powers off. I'll do it one more time so you can see. And if um, something doesn't make sense here again, just comment down below and I will. Either personally message you or um, explain it in the next video, or I'll figure out some way to get it to understand. Okay, so basically, that's the delay circuit. So, get off here, it's gonna take this and come up here. We're gonna build like a little torch tower here, and basically, what a torch tower is, it's the easiest way to bring a signal up. And see, basically, this here, it's t sending the power up like this, a single strand, so it's really it's easy. We want to make sure that the torch here is lit, so basically we have three torches here going up. And make whatever is, see how this is, isn't powered here, we want it powered here. It's going to be like active as an inverter or a NAC8, depending how technically you want to get. So basically we have here is every single... Um, part of it, he was going to do this. Oops. Okay. And uh, I can hear. Alright, then what we're going to do is just do a hump. Make sure you have three spaces in each hump. Yep. Spaces. Redstone. Oops, redstone. 
on the whole thing here. And then you want to make sure that you have a repeater in the middle of each hump here. And then make sure you have a torch here, here, here. And I'm also going to explain how this combination does work. So you guys understand later uh, after I'm done in the video and so it makes sense. This is basically going to take is this here. Spring. Spring like this. Alright. Just like that. Make sure all the rails are powered off. And now we're going to get into um, powering up our output. So, yeah, let's do that next. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is um, get it so. Yeah, we're gonna hook up our output now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this um, detector rail here, bring it to out here, put a redstone repeater here, no ticks, and then we're gonna take our sticky pistons, come up and make sure the piston is facing downward, both block here, yeah, and bring it here. And this is right here is actually going to be the strand where this is going to be output. So I'm just going to wire it up to this for tutorial purposes. However, this can be led to whatever you guys want. It can be led to a door. Um, and then pretty much anything is. This is your output. You can wire this to anything here. Whatever you want it to do uh, once you punch all the numbers quickly. So, so that's there, and then to make sure there's not a repeater issue, just like right here, where this line is, put it here. Um, Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to wire this piston up here, so. And that's really easy, because all we're going to do is, like that. How easy is that? That's all you have to do. I believe, okay, yeah, we have a couple more steps here. We're pretty much done. You guys have been awesome hanging in here. So, next thing we're going to do is take this here. We're going to power this. So, we're going to bring this here and just going to power it right to our little. So, here, so, yeah, so that's all you guys have to do right there. And then. Let's see. I, oh, now what we need here is a minecart. And put the minecart right here. And yes, I believe we're done. And so you're going to punch in your combination, and you'll see if this works. My first combination here was this four, five. Oh, and then with this one here, um, a good key is not. I mean, you can go fast. So basically, when you push the button here, when the button, like, see how this like suppresses like okay, six one here. This is so when it comes back up here, then press the next button. So when it suppresses, comes back up, then press the next button here, then you'll be perfect. And so, and you see that just lit up there. And so basically I'm going to show you how to do this. So if I do that, and I do this, I do that, that, and that. Nothing's going to happen. And if I put in the right combination again, four, five, two, one, and three. Oh, let's see what we have going on here. Oh, what the heck happened here? Oh, we don't have our... Ah, oh, jeez. I must have accidentally knocked a torch out. Make sure you have a torch here. Because that's not good if you don't... Have, uh, shoot. Okay. That was just because that torch wasn't there. I'll do it again here. So you can see four, five, two... One and 
a little effect that one. And now the minecart. Oh, because I took the minecart and put the minecart back. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Make sure the minecart's there. Make sure there's a torch here. Because this wasn't going to work. The minecart wasn't going to get too far from the torch power on the rails. So. Alright, let's try again from the top. Four. Five. Two. And one. How did I press it? Try to do it. I don't know if I pressed it. And three. Okay, see? Alright. I'll try to do it one more time. See? Four. Five. Two. One. See how... I'm going at a brisk pace here. You can go pretty fast and it still works. So. And I'm going to enter in a wrong stupid combination. It's not right. Something like that. It's not going to lie. It's just... And, you know, this right here... It might be a little bit more complicated than what you've seen, like on a YouTube or something. But the thing is, it, it can get hacked. Like a lot of these here, you can pre you know, press a bunch of stuff here. If you press the button fast enough and you press them all at once, then it lights up. But you know, this one here just I'm just gonna reset. See, look at that. That's the good news. It's not. It's not gonna do that. Any you know any wrong combination you can just, you can't do it you can't hack this one and so that's good. The only way it's gonna work is you do the right combination. And um, oh ah, see hit the wrong one it's not gonna light it's gonna reset. This here I believe is pretty this is probably the simplest. Oh what the heck. Oh, I didn't have it time. It didn't reset right. Okay. Do it again. Basically, I think this one here is pretty bulletproof, basically, I think. This is probably the best um, combination like I've seen. I've, I've looked up this, you know, just to see what other people have done, and it's either crazy ridiculous, like it's really nuts, like, and you probably guys have seen it. Just go and search combination locks on YouTube um, for the Minecraft and it's crazy stuff. Um, this is pretty simple guys. Um, yeah. So yeah I mean like it, or, or the other thing is like they have it so it's like really really simple and you think that you're getting you know a deal because you're getting it real simple but the thing is you're able to hack it you know you're able to do this kind of thing here. I've seen it, like they like say right in the beginning, disclaimer, you press all these buttons at once and you can hack it. But, no, it's just, it's not gonna happen, no. It just, unless you do the right combination, it's... Yeah, it's just, it's just gonna lock up, it's not gonna work. It's, I'll show you here. It's not gonna work. And there, like I've seen, I've seen so many where it's about this complexity. It just and it, you know, it's this the right combination here again. Works. Um, yeah, I've just seen so many things where it's either really simple. And it can be hacked really easily, which basically it just it can be hacked, and people can get in the door, or whatever. That what is it? It opens up, or the door, or whatever opens up. And you know, what's the point of even building a combination lock if that's if you're just gonna be able to like press all these buttons? It's gonna work. You know, this one here doesn't do that. Two, one, three, four, five. So, yeah. And so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so, um, I'm going. And so, yeah, definitely if you like this build, um, let me know. In the comments, 
um, like this video, leave a comment on this video, and um, subscribe. Also, um, for a while on the YouTube, they've had this um, basically in the top channel, it's a bell, and basically you can spell, and every time I put a video up, it alerts you. And I'm sure all you guys know, and uh, it's all review for you guys, but in case you didn't know, any of your favorite channels, you press the bell, and it, um, every time a video comes out, you, you know, you, you, you get alerted, and so you can be like the first to watch it, we're saying. Again, I do watch the comments very, very, very closely every day, daily, so you post a comment, I'll get back to probably within 24 hours, as, um, yeah. And also, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to take this channel, like, um, so you can stick around, I'm going to just kind of, we got to figure out where I'm going to go, because I have a couple ideas on how. I want this channel to run, and so it's not just something that was random like before. I want it to be something every Wednesday, a video, every whatever. And so I'm going. If you're just here for the tutorial and you got what you wanted, you can quit the video. Um, subscribe and all that stuff. If you thought it was good and you want to see more, go ahead. For you guys that were subscribers now, or you are subscribers, or you. You hit the subscribe button and you are now a subscriber stick around and we're gonna and you're gonna help me figure out where what we're gonna do with the channel because I'll be doing it for you guys and I want to grow the channel as much as I can get as many subscribers as I can because I do think that I can build it up so um yeah so for you guys I leave it now go ahead ciao for you guys are staying let's talk all right so Basically, I'm going to talk about what we're going to do with this channel. Um, so I was thinking... Oh. Okay, so we're going to talk about what we're going to do with this channel now. So I've had a few ideas. I actually play the Call of Duty, and so thinking maybe doing is incorporating some of that into the channel um, basically it would be stuff like um, channel, like how to improve gun accuracy how to improve you know be like the minecraft except it'd be with call of duty related you know? so I was thinking you know do that and it would also be the minecraft too so maybe one day it'd be, it'd be Tuesday would be Minecraft tutorial, Thursday would be um, Call of Duty, or vice versa, or whatever you guys think, that's why I want you, that's why I'm um, going through this with you now, so you guys can let me know what works out best for you guys, and I can start, and I'm probably not going to, like, I'm going to let you guys be able to watch a video, so I'll probably wait, like, um, a couple weeks before I actually start this, whatever I decide to do, is so I give you guys time. If you guys have a completely different idea, please let me know in the comments, and I will personally message you, and yeah, because I want this to work out best, like I said, I'm doing this for you guys, and I want to grow the channel, so. Let's see, the other thing, basically just keep going with the tutorials, just like I do an hour, I can just do whenever I can do as many tutorials I can get to I can get to, so basically it'd be more like this as I was doing before be random and I could just do if that guy just want to do like random stuff that's fine if you'd let me just do two days of Minecraft and not do Call of Duty you think that'd be better but that's fine um, yeah, we can just kind of play around with the ideas here. I mean, between now and then, this head, I'll just, you know, just keep, I'll just put the videos up randomly until I decide that when I do finally have this thing, then we're gonna stick to it. Now. And so, you guys, so, it's not a surprise when a video comes out and it's not out for a month because I don't wanna do that anymore. I'm gonna do it right. So, yeah, and so we're gonna organize the channel a little bit. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of the other day. So basically, it's Call of Duty Minecraft B. Um, just Minecraft on certain days. Minecraft randomly videos and random days. Um, but still, regardless, I'm gonna do the. Um, I know I missed Valentine's Day, but next holiday I'm gonna do a. Or the holidays um, coming up, I'm gonna try to do a holiday special because it's pretty cool, you know. It's, I'm doing that. Simply related to the holiday. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys have any ideas on how you want to take this channel? We'll kind of write this out together and we'll see what we come up with. Uh, I think that's all I have done. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and ciao.